Right, great. So let's look at your, your work here. Um, Paprika, 193. So again, you're, you're done it. I mean, you're happy with this. You understand what's going on here. Um, multiple, multiple material misstatement, not isolated to one area. Very good. And this could be due to just lack of information or just a lot of material misstatement, actual balances, right? And you can actually give examples. This is important. This is interesting as well. Yes, I, I mentioned this when I teach, but I, I guess we haven't talked about it. Anything that turns a profit into a loss, yes, well done, is is considered um, would be material because the argument is that they've they've probably done something to um, to do that to, to sort of <clears throat> there's something somewhere. Maybe the directors themselves knew there was a loss, so they quickly tweaked something to make it into profit. Because once you see a loss, you will get worried. So you talked about disclaimer of opinion. Good, well done. Um, so this bit here, they've done a lot of things. There's a lot of issues here. Um, oh, sorry, before you can replace, like anything, before you can replace um, reliance on the work of an expert, first of all, it's still your overall responsibility, but you need to check. You're really looking at the validity and the trustworthiness of that of that expert. Um, and if they're able to actually do the work and to actually look at the work they've done. So um, experience, competence, expertise, potential self-interest threats, so ethics, so any ethical ethical implications, is, is the expert a major shareholder? I don't know, that sort of thing. Um, and just really um, expertise. So however you write this out in the exam, under pressure, you want to break that up into those different areas. But it's just, it still says the experts' inventory quantities should be reviewed because every expert should tell you the process right behind their method. So you should be able to still understand what it is they've done, <clears throat> if you like. And why not? I mean, you can also just look to see where, who else they've worked for, what other work they've done before you make any final decisions as to how well you think they're. It's just you checking the validity of an expert's um, <clears throat> credibility or opinion. Okay, great. Um, so. Yes, so th th to be fair, there's a lots of lots of things that you could pick up on. They talked, I mean, and you've done great, you know, the, the, with most of the international. I mean, you can't. It has to be with all, if you like, um, if you like. So I think that's kind of the thing here. What they, you literally have to go through that list, and and if you pick out. So what I'm going to do is, I mean, I'll just let me just look at yours, and um, if you like, first of all, a lot of things here we, we don't we don't have. If you like, it, we don't have responsibility to prevent. To prevent, I mean, I mean, come on, it's the it's the people, right? So the question is a really good question in trying to make you know straight away that no, it's not our job to prevent these things. Uh, we can only det detect <clears throat> based on the samples, the sampling risk assessment method we're using. We don't prepare. It's their responsibility to prepare. Lots of things there to pick up on. Um, Ours is to gather sufficient and appropriate evidence. Um, we we did not evaluate the overall um, presentation manager's responsibility, um, and we we write that as in the audit report as well. Um, and we review everything from year to year. So I mean, just looking at last year's sorry, looking at the mark scheme, which is quite comprehensive. There. Um, you know they're quite they're quite strong that you can see there we don't prevent we, we we don't prepare almost like you're just literally picking out everything they're saying um the procedure selected depends on the availability and experience of the audit team uh, we have to just provide which we, we must get sufficient appropriate evidence and um we express an opinion on the effectiveness of the um internal controls um we will review the effectiveness and report on any deficiencies so lots of things to um to, to pick up on um we, we 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 all accounting estimates all material accounting estimates not just the new ones so lots to pick up on but you you you're you're very much along the the lines you, you understand what's going on cool good stuff